council on the same page. Jackson is officially reaching out to Governor Tate Reeves and legislators for emergency funds to prevent a repeat of this water crisis. The requests come with a hefty price tag. Council members will draw up more than $100 million to address what the mayor described are immediate needs. 12 News' Alex Love was in that meeting. All right, their vote is unanimous, 7 0. With full support, the city council voted in favor of two items supporting the mayor's letter for $47 million in emergency funds, then adding another $60 million on top of it to build a stronger water distribution system with more presence in South and West Jackson, plus Byram. What I added was additional storage capacity to be on reserve just in case these issues happen again. They happen frequently, and I want to make sure that there's enough water in South Jackson, West Jackson, and in Byron. In total, this $107 million from state and or federal emergency funds under Governor Tate Reeves' state of emergency from the winter storms declaration, Jackson wants to build four water storage towers from Byram to South and West Jackson. The draft now goes to the Capitol to be introduced on the floor. We don't have a direct connection to the federal government. We only connect to the federal government through the state in an instance like this. I'm hopeful, I'm optimistic that this crisis uh, may be generating um, some resources that, that could help us. Throughout the meeting, council members, Mayor Lumumba, and Public Works Director Dr. Charles Williams determined this move was necessary from city revenue lacking in tax base declining and the water billing system failing, putting off routine maintenance. We failed in, in our enterprise it's our enterprise system that, that would normally handle those things, but because we've been so challenged with that, that that's why we don't have that. Our biggest problem is once we get past this, whatever money we get, we got to maintain it. And if we don't have the revenue to maintain it, we're going to be right back in the same situation two or three years from now. When it comes to our savings revenues, we use a portion of that to pay off debt, and uh, we still have some of it in reserve, so it hadn't all been spent. And we'll continue to make sure we're looking at all resources coming in to be good stewards of it going forward. Senator Solly Norwood and Hillman Frazier, along with Representative Deborah Gibbons, were the only state lawmakers in attendance to hear this full plan. But Mayor Lumumba and Dr. Williams also met with Speaker of the House Philip Gunn earlier to explain these needs. So, Mayor, and, um, Alex Love reporting a second 1% sales tax has also been proposed to put on the ballot for Jackson voters to approve during the next election cycle to pump money into water system repairs. But those estimates only add up to about 13 million yearly to solve a $2 billion problem.